There's about one in six properties, so homes and businesses at risk of flooding in the UK. That's predicted to increase with things like climate change and urban creep, which is essentially people paving over their gardens to create things like driveways or extensions. There's a number of ways that you can mitigate against the risks of flooding. That can include engineered systems, so building up flood defence walls within a city centre. You can go further up the catchment and you can look at natural flood management measures, or you can do a, a balanced approach such as the one that we're stood at here, where you've got natural environment but engineered components to make that work effectively and efficiently. But they can also look to deliver other aspects and other benefits through dealing with the problem. So you can look at increasing amenity value by providing paths and, and parkland for residents and locals. And you can look at creating habitats and adding biodiversity value. So for every one pound spent on solving a flooding problem, you can quite often get around about 10 pound back in benefits. Obviously the EA are the key stakeholder and they are responsible for delivering on the outcomes. But to deliver on the detail of that in terms of the design, they will be engaging people like consultant engineers and contractors to build that. Consultant engineers will be looking to us at Hydro International to provide them with our expert knowledge about the flow control aspect. Central to every scheme is how you deal with the flow and how you manage the flow. So the flow control really is the core element that you build the scheme around. We've been doing flow controls for a long time and we've been delivering flood alleviation projects for 25 years or more. They'll come to us and they'll look for us to provide detailed hydraulic characteristic curves which they can build into their overall model of the catchment. Contractors will be looking to us for our advice and experience. First thing that we'll always do is make sure that we have an early uh, visit to the site and an early meeting with the contractor so that we can get early visibility of potential challenges and overcome those before they become an issue. We've done a number of schemes and we can provide detailed drawings and detailed information on how that goes together but we can also put, again, a Hydro International representative on site at those key moments of the installation process so that when they're dropped in and fitted to the structure, they know that there's expert advice and guidance on hand. The most important thing on any scheme of this scale is to get that early engagement with all of the stakeholders. So you get them all in a room together, you get the environment agency, you get the consultants, you get the contractors, and you get Hydro International as the equipment supplier together. That way everybody can bring their own expertise and perspective to the project, can start to look at things from one another's angle and can make sure that we deliver the best overall solution for the project.